2019. Oh yeah, we dropping some powerful messages, and I'm messing with it, man. My shoes, Rick, Rick. Your girl did my tartar sauce, so she ate my dick like a fish stick. That's a screaming. I got different color on my diamond. I can't even see the time. I just made a hundred k. It was bigger than a bike. I was thinking from a bar, try to pull me down, but I climbed. They be riding, super side. What's good, everybody? I'm Brandon. Bro, this video highly, highly requested. I'm talking about so many people DMing me, so many people leaving comments, talking about Brandon, I got to react to this video. All right, bro, I'm going to see what's so great about it. Y'all been hyping this up? No, you know what? Let me let me not go into it having expectations. Because if I go into it having high expectations, and if it doesn't live up to my expectations, I'm going to be let down. So let me let go of them expectations. I don't expect nothing, all right? Nah, I'm lying. It's Jordan Lucas. I expect this to be fire, bro. Before I hop into it, make sure I leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. Um, this one is titled Devil's Work, and it says ADHD. Uh, yeah. I don't necessarily know what he's going to be talking about. Clearly, he's going to be saying something about the devil. So, this could be a dark song. I don't know. Y'all know I like dark stuff anyway. You know, we all got our dark side, you know. I embrace my dark side, you know, it is what it is. Jordan Lucas, he raps extremely fast, so we're going to try to listen to what the homie is saying, so I'm pretty sure this video, I'm not going to be bobbing my head as much, because I'm really going to try to listen to what he's saying, because he raps really fast, but his bars be hitting too, at the same time. He's like the next Eminem, you know what I mean? Like, Eminem raps really fast, but he has, his bars are crazy, you know? Like, you really got to listen to digest that mess. Because there's a lot of rappers that rap really fast, but they don't really be saying nothing. Like, if you really think about it, they lyrics be kind of basic. They just rap really fast, you know? But Jordan Lucas and Eminem, they have bars and they rap fast. So let's really digest this bit. Let's look at it. At the end of this video, I'm going to get my take on the visuals. And I'm also going to get my take on the song. Y'all know how I do. Before I hop into it, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. I don't know if I already said that. Too bad. Um, also, I'm telling y'all, I'm saying this every single video. Fashion Nova is sponsoring your boy, so I will be doing a men's Fashion Nova try on haul soon. I want all y'all to watch it. You know, they said if it goes well, we might have a contract. If it goes well, we'll see. So I want all y'all to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Support your boy so I can get the bag. Anyway, I'm ready hopping into it. Let's go. Why you got the biggest bottle of Henny I've ever seen in my life? All right, all right, we're going to try to digest this. The homie, drunk AF, <coughs> in the church. Father, forgive me. I'm staring at this Bible as I keep glancing. Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers. I'm trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing. We supposed to be your children, I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro, I need answers. We don't need to die young, we just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one, like Steve Francis. Yeah. By my head saying, praying out of seas planet. Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish. A lot of good niggas yeah. gone, I don't understand it. R.I.P. Nip. R.I.P. X. R.I.P. Lil Peep. R.I.P. to all the young homies that passed away soon, bro. A lot of families lost and they seen stranded. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you're watching us from heaven thinking who to say. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back all the real ones, remove the fix. I think you should trade. Give us two pop back and say that nigga shook. Let the legend. I mean, I agree, but I ain't bold enough to say it. Need a meter with you. I ain't trying to overstep this one reason with you. 
Listen, listen, listen. R. Kelly is the goat. I right? leave Kells alone, bro. Leave Kells alone. But listen, so far this is fire, fire. No wonder why all y'all want me to react to this. This is fire. Hey. This is a powerful song, bro. I'm over here getting goosebumps. Oh, y'all can't even see on camera. I'm over here getting goosebumps, bro. This is real. This is real. They got guns, niggas up to something. And every gangster want to prove that they tough or something. You know it's not fair, tell the truth. I've been in my feelings too. But if you took Emma Tell, at least take Della Roof. At least take James Holmes. I ain't even mad at that. This Just bring back with me and give us Michael Jackson back. Feds want me. And then slam it down. Ain't no justice for Sandra Bland. We up like the Salem fan. Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand. Take out the fuck niggas and give us back a fam again. Drowning in my tears, trying to pray for something. Bro, I'm sorry I keep pausing it. Shout out Jordan Lucas, man. If I wasn't a Jordan Lucas fan before this, I am a Jordan Lucas fan. My dude is speaking the real. This is real, bro. Like, this is real. I, I mess with this heavy, man. You give us life for you to take it from us. Wonder why you give us family and erase it from us. Maybe hopefully you can have a conversation with us. Maybe I'm just probably tripping because I need a hug. The hood can't find jobs, now we need a plug. Everybody in their mama trying to be a thug. I don't go to church because I'm afraid of being judged. I've been staring at the ceiling as a line bed. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says. I pray you give yeah. us back the real ones and try again. Or maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead. Tommy Lauren run them out, but then she get defensive. Laura Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back somebody who deserved the blessings. If y'all don't know who that second chick was, she went viral because she was laughing at Nipsey and YG. First off, she had it wrong anyway because YG made the song Fuck Donald Trump, not Nipsey. So she had that shit hella wrong anyway. But yeah, she over here making fun of the fact that Nipsey got killed. And they like, oh, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, that's a great song. Like, man. I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got a back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love it, so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking long, so give me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it sucks waiting. Took my man's from me, that forever hurts. But put the blame on you, that it never worked. Yeah. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Bro, this was fire. Young nigga, take me higher. Hey, I ain't about to freestyle. No, no, nigga trying to drop my style. Hey, I can't freestyle. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, real, real shit though. All jokes aside, bro, I fuck with this. Bro, all right, I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand. This was extremely powerful. I felt everything he was saying. Man, Jordan, bro, if you watch this, you probably ain't. But if you watch this, this was powerful, man. I messed with this heavy. Thank you for making this video. You feel me? Thank you for making this. Um, Thank all y'all for suggesting this video. Because, to be honest, if y'all didn't suggest it, I probably wasn't even going to watch it. So y'all suggested this for me, and I'm glad. This this was deep, bro. This was deep, and it was real. Um, I don't even need to speak about the visuals. The visuals went perfectly. He was in the church. He was praying to God. That was his... Well, not praying, but he was asking for answers. You feel me? He had questions, and he asking for answers. This shit was deep. It was deep. Yeah. We did have some of the greats be taken away from us. But you know what? Everything happens. I kind of believe everything happens for a reason. So the fact that Tupac and, and X and Nip and all of them were killed, something great came from that. You know what I'm saying? Tupac inspired millions. So many people saw what happened to Tupac and saw, 
like, and heard his message after the fact that he was killed. The same thing with X. You know, X, I'm an X fan, bro. So X would be like talking about depression and he would be speaking about positivity. And then when X was killed, that message blew up even further. You feel me? And the same thing with Nipsey. Y'all know I'm born and raised LA, born and raised South Central LA. So I've always, I've always kept up with Nipsey. I'm not a Nipsey fan, but I always kept up with Nipsey. Nipsey, he was 6-0, neighborhood crip. Me, I grew up Western and 80th. That's A Trey. That's A Trey. That's A Trey gangsters, bro. They kind of go at it with 6-0. You know what I mean? But anyway, like, I always kept up with Nipsey. And Nipsey was a true king, a true revolutionary. Nipsey was over here trying to tell people about Dr. Sebi. If y'all don't know about Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi was... He was trying to basically get people on an alkaline diet, a vegan diet, an alkaline diet, saying that that's the perfect diet, saying that that'll heal us. And, you know, Dr. Sebi was killed. Well, I don't know if he was killed, but he ended up dying. And his message didn't get across. So Nipsey was about to make a movie about Dr. Sebi. He was out here trying to really just inform all of us, bro. You know what I mean? He was trying to inform everybody about the alkaline diet. And y'all know Nipsey, he was bringing money back to the hood, bro. That's why in L.A., Nipsey was loved. If you're from L.A., like me, if you're from L.A., you know the effect that Nipsey had on everybody. Even if you're not a Nipsey fan like me. Like, I mess with Nipsey, of course. But I knew what was going on. You know? The marathon continues, bro. Great video. Thank y'all so much for suggesting this. This might be the best video I've seen all year. This is up there with Earth, man. This is up there with Earth. Lil Dicky Earth. This is up there with that. But in terms of the song, this song is better. Yeah, it sounds better. But the message is powerful. 2019? Oh, yeah. We dropping some powerful messages. And I'm messing with it, man. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.